In this video, I will illustrate a basic peak fitting session and how the settings for one fitting can be applied to additional data sets. I have a worksheet with six data sets. Let's graph them so we can see what we are working with. I will choose the most clearly defined data set to fit first. First, I'll adjust the peak analyzer placement so I can see the preview graph completely as I work. In the peak analyzer, I'll set the recalculate mode to auto and choose fit peaks as my goal. Next, I'll select a user-defined baseline. While I could let Origin find the baseline anchor points, Origin doesn't always get them right, so sometimes it is better to define them yourself. Here, I'll go ahead and do that. Snapping to spectrum ensures the chosen points are actually on the curve, so I will select this and I'll leave the other settings as default. Next, I'll select Auto Subtract the Baseline and Rescale the Preview Graph. Though Origin can auto find peaks in many cases, in this case, I know roughly where they are, so I will define them myself. A shoulder here, a peak here, another shoulder here, and another peak here. Again, I'll snap the points to the data set. I also want to ensure that the fitter only uses positive peaks. Now I'll get into the actual fitting. First, let me adjust the dialog size and position. Just to see how it looks, I'll fit until converged using the default settings. It doesn't look so good. There is a broad bump and a sharp peak. It can't be right, so I'll go ahead and reinitialize the parameters. The number one thing that can be done to improve fitting is to apply proper bounds to parameters. Based on prior knowledge, I know that the FWHM is going to be limited to a specific range. Watch how I define bounds for the FWHM to be in the desired range. And this is how to specify the same bounds for all FWHM parameters. With new bounds set, I'll fit until converged again. The results look much better, so I'll go ahead and accept them. I'm going to turn off the special result graph the Peak Analyzer produces by default. and click the Finish button. Back in the workbook, we can observe a number of new worksheets the fitter generated, including a report sheet, and a sheet of peak parameters. Now I will analyze all of the data sets in the original worksheet using the settings from the previous fit. I'll start by creating a theme via the lock icon on the report sheet. After naming the theme, I'll leave most settings as they are, 
but we'll make sure to include fixed parameter status and value and upper and lower bounds. Now I'll use Origin's Batch Peak Analysis using the Theme feature to analyze all of the datasets at one time. I'll select all of the data in the worksheet. And choose the theme that I just saved. I'll select the result sheet from the original analysis. Next, I'll choose how to label the final results for each data set. And finally, I'll click OK to begin processing. As you can see, the final results are organized by dataset. This concludes our tutorial. Thank you for watching.